this is going to be a slightly impromptu video and a bit of a clip show as well. Um, now, I'll start by saying I'm not a sponsored channel. I don't sponsor anything, or I'm not sponsored by anybody. But I bought one of these uh, from RMK Leatherworks recently um, in place of my normal belt pouch, which looks a little something like that, not exactly that one. Um, because I wanted something that wasn't going to get in my way while I'm riding on my Argo. Now, in case you don't know what an Argo is, we'll open the back door here. This is an Argo. It's an eight-wheel drive amphibious ATV, um, and it bounces around a bit. There's no suspension other than the tire pressures. So, um, during the rough rides, I wanted something that wasn't going to get in the way. Now, I was a little concerned that I might lose my Leatherman or the associated tools out of this, which I don't have in here today. Um, fortunately, that's not been the case. But um, part of the purpose of this video is I want to show the uh, the actual designers and manufacturers of this um, exactly what it's been through and what it's survived. Now, I have bounced around in this a lot. I'm going to do a bit more today. But um, I've also been in armored vehicles. I've climbed up ladders. I've done all sorts of stuff. I haven't lost my Leatherman. And that is really important because it's a very useful piece of equipment. So, here we go. I'm going to do a few clips here to show you the sort of things I've been doing with this attached to my belt and I haven't lost it. So let's go and see what it'll deal with. So here we go for the mud hole. We all good?
Uh, not today. Yeah. Different line did it. I probably would have got up if I had tracks, but I clearly don't. Now, caution advised here. How steep are we? We'll make it. Alright. Oh, battery just tipped over. Oh, that shifted our balance a bit. Alright. Way down. We're throwing some mud. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. There's a bumper bar up here. We might go find that and see if it's the bumper bar off that thing. I don't think it is. There's our bumper bar. Oh, it's just a little rough. I better slow down a bit. Or not. Where are we? Alright. Alright, well, that was probably a confusing collection of clips and uh, a lot of interesting stuff, maybe. But I still have my Leatherman. That's thanks to that RMK leather pouch. I uh, wasn't quite sure when I first got it whether or not that would fall out. I thought I'd give it a try and uh, credit where credit's due it actually works really really well um, unlike my cleaning schedule in my workshop but it's actually a really good idea I really suggest if you've got a Leatherman and you want to carry a few extra bits and bobs you get one of those things um, but yeah they have a Facebook page as well uh, but anyway I've left the website in the description below um, as well as probably on screen if I get around to doing the captions Anyway, hope you had fun watching some clips, and um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with the product. I don't normally give a plug like this for a product until I really actually think it's great, but it's quality leather, it's a quality product, and it does what it says on the box, which is uh, much more than I can say for a lot of things that I've got that come in boxes. I have a whole shelf full of things that don't do what they say on the box. So I'm always happy to see something Australian made that actually does do the right thing. See you all in the next one, and I'll find another excuse for a clip show in the future. See you later.